Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Rachel with Nighttime Mommy Reviews and today we're making air fried chicken in the Instant Pot using the air fryer lid. You guys, it's a great, easy recipe for the whole family. You're going to love it. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to have more Instant Pot air fryer lid recipes every single week on my channel. Let me know in the comments what you guys like to eat with your, with your air fried chicken. Um, but before we do get started, make sure you check the description box for all of the ingredients and if you're interested in any of the items that I use in the video today, I will have the links below in the description box. But let's go ahead and dive right into air fried chicken in the Instant Pot. Okay, so what you're going to need for the marinade is you're going to need a bowl. You will also need uh, two pounds of chicken chicken whatever chicken you want to use I'm using drumsticks so I got the family pack here and then you're also going to need for the uh, marinade you're going to need one cup of buttermilk and then you need to season your buttermilk so you will also need one teaspoon of garlic powder black pepper salt and garlic and then paprika sorry so in order to get that started you're just gonna pour your buttermilk in, then mix in your salt, paprika, garlic powder. All right. Oh, you know what? I'll put this over here. Mix it all together really well. And we're seasoning this because we're going to dip our chicken in this. And everything that we season is just going to add flavor. You can add hot sauce to the buttermilk if you wanted to. That's optional. If you wanted to add the uh, hot sauce, it would be about one fourth of a cup. You also need a avocado oil or grapeseed oil. I'm using the Evo oil sprayer with avocado oil in it. And then you need to season your flour. You will need one cup of flour. And I will have everything in the description box if you wanted the ingredients. But you just need one cup of flour, half a cup of cornstarch. Okay. Then we need to season our flour. And we're going to mix it all up. But I'm using a bag. You can use a bowl, but it's just a little bit easier with a bag. Um, so this is for the breading. So after you add the one half cup of cornstarch, you'll need one teaspoon each of paprika, okay. garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. And remember, it's just one teaspoon each. Okay. Let's mix that. I'm going to seal it. Kinda. Oh, there I go. Make sure it's closed. So I am actually going to bring out the chicken and we are going to start with breading the chicken. So give me one moment and we'll be back. Okay, so now we have our drumsticks. You're going to just dip it and rub it really well, dredge it in the buttermilk. Okay, so I'm just rolling it around and then you want to shake the excess off. Okay, now I'm just going to place it right here. I put aluminum foil down because what we have to do next is bread it. So just kind of dredge all of the chicken. And then when you put it down, you're also allowing it to marinate. So let's see. Okay. So we're going to allow that we're going to bread or marinate all of the chicken in the buttermilk. So I'm going to get all of these done and then we'll be back. Okay, so now I have marinated all of the chicken in the buttermilk. And now is the fun part. So we are going to add one at a time. You can kind of squeeze it and just rub it everywhere. 
make sure they're really patting it on. Okay. And find your drumstick in there. Okay, make sure it's finely coated. We're going to put that down and do this for all of them. So again, just pressing on it, pressing it into the buttermilk so it sticks. Need to shake, just so it really gets on there. Okay, just shake it a little bit, put it down and do this for all of them. So let's do this for all of them. Then we can come back and start preheating and doing all the fun stuff. Okay, so now I have floured all of my drumsticks and if you have chicken breast, it's the same thing. So um, I floured everything, but you want it to absorb. So you wanna let it sit for about at least five minutes for the flour to sink in. Then we're going to do it one more time where we are going to just use the leftover flour and really press it in. So I'm going to let it sit for five minutes and then we can dip it again in the flour. Then we'll allow it to sit for another five to 10 minutes and we're ready to spray it and get it ready for the air fryer, okay? All right, so we're back. Now you'll start to notice that after five minutes, the chicken doesn't look as floury so this is why we're adding a second coat. Now it's going to look like that after as well, but you want to make sure you have a thick coat. If you really like the skin of the chicken, that's what you want to do. So you want to make sure you let it sit though, because if you don't let it sit, it's not going to stick as well when you're air frying. And you want to press that in. So press the flour onto the chicken. Um, you won't really have the texture you want. So that's why you want to bread it again and press it into the chicken. You don't have to redredge it in the buttermilk because the chicken is still wet from the buttermilk and it just absorbed what it could from the flour. So see how it's still wet? I don't know if you can kind of tell, but You just want to reflower it. Okay. This is the final step before um, before we can spray it. I promise, no more flowering after this. All right. As you notice, I, I tap it at the end just to get anything excess off. It doesn't matter if there's too much excess, but just get as much as you can off. Okay. So let's do this for all of them. Press it in. I'm going to do this for the remainder of them. Then we're going to let them sit for 15 minutes. Let's say 10 minutes. 10 minutes to allow it to absorb the flour again. And then we can spray it with the oil sprayer, okay? Okay, so let's actually go ahead and spray the chicken. What you wanna do is just make sure you cover every part of flour that you see. Now, the reason you want to do this is because if you miss the flour, you will have that floury taste. And believe me, you don't want that. Just make sure, see this is why I like the evil sprayer. I have the other mister with grapeseed oil, but I saw one of the YouTubers had an evil sprayer and I just had to have it, so. <laughs> it's really awesome. So just thoroughly cover the chicken. with oil. Believe me, this is a lot better than having to dredge it in oil and cook it in oil. Or so much oil anyways, it's a lot healthier. So just cover. Okay. 
And when you flip it, and you'll see when we flip it, if you notice that there's still some oil spots, you can just spray as needed. And I'm just making sure I cover every part. So I already did that one, so. Flip and oil. Okay, it's on as well. Make sure you give it all the flour then. ready to go in the air fryer okay so what we're going to do now is add our chicken now it has to be a single layer so the basket is pretty small but we're just going to make sure that they're not touching we're not on top of each other directly so I'm just making sure like that so you may need to do batches but I'm also using the disc that came with it. Okay. We're going to layer it. And I don't want to cover that opening because we're going to need it when we flip the chicken. So we might have to bring it out. All right. Then we need our air fryer lid. Okay. Let's hit air fry temperature of 375 for 30 minutes it's about 25 but we're going to do 30 just in case here so 30 minutes we will be back in 15 minutes to flip the chicken okay so we're coming up on 15 minutes we're going to go ahead and take the lid off first we're going to take this chicken out Okay starting to get crispy and kind of pop it. I have seen some people use the screw to get this out. Um, you could do that as well. There's like a screw and a wing or a nut that they use so that they can kind of create a little handle to lift it. I thought that was pretty nifty. Go ahead and flip your chicken. Carefully so you're not ripping the breading off there. Okay. Now, let me actually get silicone glove. Okay. I have these little silicone pot holders, so that makes it a little easier. Okay. Now we flip. Put these back on. ready to put the lid back on and go another 10 minutes all right so we're coming up on five minutes um, that's 25 minutes total that we've had it going so I want to go ahead and take the lid off and check on them all right so they're crisping nice let's actually let me get a plate that's clean here see starting to crisp there all right just checking it on this side all right so let's get the thermometer and just check it So, it's at 148 and climbing, 155, 164. All right, so they're about done, but they're not as crispy as I would like. So let's go ahead and put them in. Let's check these ones right here. 
Okay, so I have some. I'm checking the ones that were directly next to the lid. Yeah, they're already done. They already hit their 165 point. So we're just going to stick these back in here. And you can see that they're crispy, or they're starting to get crispy, but the skin is still soft. So, I actually want to increase the time to 10 minutes. We're going to check on it in 10 minutes. Okay, so I let the 10 minutes finish. And you can see the skin is nice and crispy. And we're going to get a closer look right now. Okay, well that was perfect. They could spray the broiler lid attachment with oil if you want it easier clean up and let me actually pull these out and we can take a closer look all right and there you have it we have our air fryer chicken take a look it's nice and crispy oh it's hot mmm It is really yummy. Really, really yummy. This is how you would make air fried chicken in the Instant Pot using the air fryer lid. You guys, it's a really great recipe for the whole family with some mashed potatoes, some corn. There's so many things that you can make with it and just chicken is just in general great. So this is how you would make it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more Instant Pot air fryer lid recipes coming your way all year long, 2020, on Nighttime Mommy Reviews. And let me know in the comments what kind of side you like with chicken, air fried chicken. Well, you guys have a great night.